Hello, my friends. This is uh, Dr. Mario Martinez, also known as How Shrink. I'm going to briefly talk about what I call the end of cycles in your life. And this is the end of a, a relationship, the end of a job, the end of something that you've been doing for a while. And it's about time to let it go. So in a relationship, when it's over, there's a tendency to rerun the past, to ruin the present, to create a good future. So the end of the cycle needs to be let go, not with anger or with um, resentment or blame, but more with gratitude. If you were in a situation for a while, you're not done. You were in it because there was something good about it. Then it didn't continue to be good or things changed. So you have to tune into the gratitude. And gratitude is a way to begin to mourn what is over. So you mourn what is over. You feel the gratitude for what you had that worked, that was good. And you move on. And you don't go back to what the Greeks called the prison of nostalgia. Once you go back, you rerun. If you stay in the present and you feel the gratitude and the letting go and you mourn, then you're closing a cycle. A person is no longer outside with you nor inside with you. And it's very important to see that because if not, what will happen is you'll create a situation where you go into the sense of uh, nostalgia and how it could have been and how it could be or what I did wrong, what I could have done differently. All you do is you reflect in the present and you ask yourself, what am I doing in the present? And what is it that I need to do in my life to continue to go on? Letting go is one of the most important components that we have in maintaining our wellness. Reruns are terrible because the brain doesn't know the difference. If you go back to the reruns and the way you were hurt or the way that things didn't work, cognition knows, but the brain doesn't know that you're not there anymore. And it gives you the hormones of stress and it gives you the inflammation and all these other negative responses when you're in a state of alarm. So what I'm asking you to do is close the cycle, move on. You move on with you mourn by letting it go and feeling the loss. And then with gratitude, you close the cycle and that person is no longer in your life. You can continue to love from a distance. It's okay. You can love from a distance, but you don't bring the past into the present to ruin a potential future. Be open, be at peace with yourself, close cycles and love from a distance and let go. Be at peace and have faith in your journey. That's the key.